everyone. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I really appreciate you joining me today. Today's video will be a McCart haul, so if you're interested, just stay tuned. First up, I got these pump up long stiletto nail tips. I thought they would be good because um, as you'll see, they actually have a curve on them. So I feel like they're easier to create that apex and also they are pre-filed. So it kind of takes a little bit of the prep work out of them. Um, I also got this poly gel kit. This is like their quick gel, I believe. Um, I don't really know the difference between this and poly gel. I guess it's just like a bit of a thinner consistency, but I really love the colors and the fact that you can apply it straight out of the tube. Like you don't really have to use the brush to shape it at all. Um, at least that's how I saw it being used. So I just thought it would be interesting to give it a try because I'm just trying to get back into poly gel nails. Um, here I'm just kind of showing you what's in the package. They give you a little instruction booklet. You get some nail forms, which um, I see these all the time. Like I'm kind of, my nail form work needs a lot of work. So that'll be fun to practice with. And of course you get your nail file and this is just a 100, 180 grit. Just simple little file there. You get your gel brush. And I just love the aesthetic of this whole collection. The pink is really pretty to me. And they got your nice little diamond rhinestone detailing there in the handle. Just super cute. And there you go. Just a nice, simple little gel brush. And then of course you get your prep, you get your base coat. and you get your top coat. And then here are the colors and simple little swatch here. Maybe I'll try and put the numbers on the screen here, but you can kind of get a feel for what the colors actually look like. Just really pastel Eastery kind of colors. Next, we have another poly gel kit. This is the more traditional um, poly gel formula, I suppose. And again, the aesthetic. I love the packaging. That's kind of part of the reason why I probably bought it because I just thought the box was pretty because I'm crazy like that. But here you go, kind of the same situation. In this one, you do get your slip solution, which is why I was saying in the other kit, I think you don't have to use it with a brush. You can just like mix it and marble it straight onto the nail. But anyway, I was just showing you the top and the base coat, your slip solution. Underneath here, you get some nail forms. And this is just what you pack the poly gel into to put it onto the nail. But honestly, I don't like the curved ones. From my past experiences using poly gel, they just, I don't know, they look weird. And then another nail file. It's not the pretty pink. Of course, you get a little booklet here. It's got instructions on how to apply, which is very useful if you've never done it before. And again, you get a brush here. Very beautiful detailing here on the handle. Just very simple. Kind of reminds me a bit like Middle Eastern vibes and then your palette to actually scrape the gel out of your tubes. And then the brush end. Just very simple, very cute. And then we have your colors. We have 734 Coral, 756 Magenta, which is weird because it's like a light pink. I think of Magenta being more pigmented. We got your 733 Lemon Chiffon. Got your 732 Mauve. <laughs> we got your 7, what is that, 55 Light Slate. And then we got your 731 Celeste, which is my favorite. I love that blue and that's that entire collection and they are sealed so I'm not gonna swatch them next I got a poly gel kit or sorry a jelly polish kit 
Um, I'm kind of, when it comes to nails, I love softer colors. So this was kind of a way to incorporate brighter colors, but not have them be so opaque. You know, it's just a softer way to introduce color. So we got your crystal green. Very pretty. Don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet, but I just had to buy them because I've been looking at these collections forever. We got crystal orange, which orange is probably my go-to summer color. Like I really love orange nails in the dead of heat. And we got your crystal rose red. I did a set with this color already and oh, look at that. With some blue shift mirror powder over top, it's just neon vibes, I love it. And we got your crystal violet. Kind of an easy way to introduce some purple in a soft way. Your crystal sky blue, which would be really pretty with some holographic glitters or some decals or something like that. And we got your crystal dark blue. And again, very pretty. And these I had no problems with. They applied beautifully, um, no streaking. This is just one coat and no top coat, I think. I don't think I top coated these. But there are all the colors. Very summery, very pretty. And then I got this marbling liquid. I've been looking at these forever and I tried to make my own, but eventually I just decided to go ahead and buy the set. And, um, Again, you can see the, the color aesthetic I go for. I love soft colors. For the swatches, I just used um, some OPI white polish. And these are the first three colors, the yellow, the blue, and the purple. And then, or that's um, just a closer look at that. And then we have the next three colors. I guess the pink, the green, and kind of the light pink. And this one, I love these together. Like this would have been cute for Easter if I would have got this set in time. You can see some butterfly decals over that, just really cute. And there is that whole set, so you can see it. And then just some auxiliary things that I picked up. Um, some glue, some of the skin barrier and a brush. And I'll just give you a closer look at these, just nothing special. I've just heard a lot of good things about this rhinestone glue. I've been using the um, the resin to put crystals on, but I thought maybe this would be a little bit better to kind of hold things in place because I do tend to lose things or lose my crystals after a few days. Got the skin barrier, which would be good for doing gel ombres. And I really love their um, packaging redesign. Like I just think this bottle is really cute. So excited to try that. And then, of course, I got a brush. Again, the really cute pink aesthetic, and they got the glitter in the handle, which is just, I, I mean, I sit here and play with this forever. Like, I just love to watch it. Super pretty. Yes, that happened. <laughs> we keep it real over here, <laughs> but it's easy. Just a little bit of glue and it's good as new. And that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed any of these products, if you have any, any of them, leave me a comment down below on how you use them. Like, share, subscribe. All the links will be in the description. And thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, bye.